Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner prove they've got co-parenting down while out with kids. They've proven their kids are their number one priority. Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner went to church with their kids together despite being divorced. Sometimes, when a couple splits up after a marriage, things can get complicated with children involved from determining schedules with the kids, who pays for what, and so forth. But Justice League actor Ben Affleck, 46, and his ex-wife camping actress Jennifer Garner, 46, have been able to get over that awkwardness and be together as a family. On February 3, Jen and Ben took their kids to church in the Pacific Palisades, a neighborhood in Los Angeles, and proved that they can make family life work for everyone. They arrived from separate locations, but came together for their religious service. Ben drove the kids there, he layered up in an olive green button down with a black jacket, and a gray wool coat over that. He wore brown pants and shoes, and rocked some salt and pepper scruff. Ben held on to daughter, Violet, 13, with his arm wrapped around her as they walked into church. She wore a long sleeve t-shirt and light washed denim jeans. Ben and Jen's son, Samuel, 6, was a few paces ahead of Ben and Violet in a comfortable looking gray sweatshirt and sweatpants. Jen walked toward the service in an ivory sweater. She wore a French tuck tucking the front of her sweater into her red and white striped skirt. Jen wore orange loafers and held a black purse, wearing black sunglasses as she walked in. Their other daughter, Serafina, 10, was also with them for church. The family has shown that they've been able to do activities together despite Ben and Jen split three years ago, in 2015. Jen will always hold a special place in her heart for Ben, however, she felt extremely hurt towards the end of their relationship and is really happy with her new beau, John Miller, 40, a source told Hollywood Life exclusively. But it's important to her to always be there for Ben and for their kids. She will always cheer him on and be there as a support since she wants what's best for the kids. What's best for Violet, Serafina, and Samuel is ultimately up to their parents, regardless, we're glad to see them still spend Sunday together as a family.